Ladies and gentlemen, this is a response to another cut and paste diatribe by loser McCain is through entitled Healthcare Reform Americans in London. Check all the links, check the right side, all the links are over there. All the relevant information is on the right side. A young man started a firestorm, his uh, account name is Right is the Right, started a firestorm by uh, daring to question the infinite wisdom of one FKAS G9SSM and his subjective healthcare reform Americans in London video. We were urged by this user, right is the right, to check out his response. And by golly, McCain is through, took a break from the mop bucket, making several comments in this video that had nothing to do with healthcare, but we were amused. If you scroll through the video, we'll have again, we'll have it linked on the screen. You can go check it out. Check McCain is through comments out. Let's just, let's get started. McCain is through made the following statement on that video. She said, "What about the GOP SCOTUS ruling, giving individual rights to corporations? Do you support that decision or not?" And then she said later, "What do you think of the GOP SCOTUS ruling, giving corporations the same rights as individuals?" The very individuals that are those small businesses you cited that are being destroyed by corporations. You fell on your own hole, eh? The GOP destroys America and uses our tax dollars, dollars using the dollar sign, as corporate welfare. But if she actually said it yeah, without using a distorted voice, it would sound like this. McCain is through has obviously not read anything about the ruling in FEC versus Citizens United or she wouldn't be making such an idiotic statement. This ruling does not let corporations donate directly to politicians. They don't have to form PACs anymore. They can directly purchase their own airtime and criticize any politician at any time, even if it's the day before their election, re-election bid. That's another thing that was scuttled. Justice Kennedy made this clear in his siding with the majority. You don't lose your rights just because you're part of a conglomerate. I would wager that most corporations will stay out of this because it's a cultural powder keg which might not sit well with some consumers and they have shareholders to answer to. Richard Vigari, who invented mass direct mail solicitation empowering conservatism in the pre-net era, knows how this will empower the grassroots anti-incumbent movement. He writes, today's Supreme Court ruling in the Citizens United case, this was some time ago obviously, means that the anti-incumbent fear that has been growing is partly released from the shackles created by incumbent protection election and campaign finance laws. The dirty little secret about campaign finance laws passed by Congress, Congress since 1972 is that they were designed to protect incumbents by stifling competition. This ruling is especially important for advocacy causes and organizations which may now more freely express opinions about incumbents." End quote. Brad Smith writes, assuaging some of the hand-wringing being done on the left, quote, what, what the Supreme Court said is that you cannot prevent a corporation from speaking simply because it is a corporation. Therefore, they struck down part of the two United States Code section 441B. But a separate section of the law, 2 U.S.C. 441E, prohibits foreign nationals from contributing. This section of the law wasn't even an issue, let alone overruled. Foreign nationals are prohibited from contributing because they are foreign nationals, not because they are corporations. A foreign national is defined to include any partnership, association, corporation, corporation organization, or other combination of persons organized under the laws of or having its principal place of business in a foreign country. Now, this does leave open the possibility of a foreign-owned company incorporating and locating in the United States and then spending money here on politics. But the definition of foreign national also includes non-resident aliens, and the FEC's regulations provide that a foreign national shall not direct, dictate, control, or directly or indirectly participate in the decision-making process of any person, such as a corporation, labor organization, political committee, or political organization with regard to such persons, federal or non-federal election-related activities, such as decisions concerning the making of contributions, donations, expenditures, or disbursements in connection 
with elections for any federal, state, or local office or decisions concerning the administration of a political committee. So does Citizens United open the door to foreign contributions? No, not really, end quote. Won't McStupid be surprised when she learns that even the ACLU supported Citizens United? <sighs> we also have this from John Stossel, quote, One need not be a fan of big corporations, which in today's interventionist economy benefit from many government privileges, to see that restrictions on anyone's speech are dangerous. A government lawyer last year said that even corporate-funded books favoring or opposing candidates could be prohibited under McCain-Feingold. That should scare progressives, especially since federal election, the Federal Election Commission once had an anti-Bush book written by George Soros under scrutiny. The Constitution protects these groups of rights-bearing individuals. The, pro the proposition that only human beings standing alone with no group affiliation whatsoever are entitled to First Amendment, protect First Amendment protection, that real people lose some of their rights when they join together in groups of 2 or 10 or 50 or 100,000, it is legally, is legally baseless and has no grounding in the Constitution. Chief Justice Roberts said, in his Citizens United concurrence, the First Amendment protects more than just the individual on a soapbox and the lonely pamphleteer. Justice Scalia makes the same point, explaining that the text of the Constitution makes no distinction between types of speakers. Justice Thomas had a great line, quote, I found it fascinating that the people who were editorializing against Citizens United versus FEC were the New York Times Company and the Washington Post Company. Washington Post Company. These are corporations, so should we muzzle the New York Times now? As Han, Hans Van Spakovsky, senior legal fellow at the F uh, Heritage Foundation and a former commissioner of the Federal Elections Commission, has pointed out the Supreme Court did not touch the ban on direct corporate contributions to federal candidates, which remains in force today. Moving on, McStupid, excuse me, and McCain is through, made some curious comments on this, on this healthcare video. Here, here's some other comments. She said, fire departments are not, in quote, or in caps, are not volunteers, nor are police. And then she said, LOL, 0% of fire stations are volunteer. They are paid government workers. This information comes from the U.S. Fire Administration. Estimated number of fire departments in 2008, 30,170. Fire department types, career, 8%, mostly career, 6%, mostly volunteer, 16%. McCain, is through, are you listening? All volunteer, 70%. 86% of fire departments are volunteer or mostly volunteer and protect 39% of the population. Where's